Hi Leo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for January 2020. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Leo Sun, Leo Ascendant, and Leo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, you might want to check that out because some people are writing me and telling me they've checked that out and their predictions and messages are making sense and coming to them from their cusp sign. So you might want to look into that. And Happy New Year to all the Leos out there. I wish you an absolutely outstanding new year and filled with blessings and much happiness and success in 2020. So all that being said, Leo, now on to your January 2020 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have is Eight of Rods. This is news coming to you swiftly. It could also be swift or sudden change. It could even mean long distance travel. Sometimes the rods in the card are symbolic of the arrows of love. So it could even have love coming in here, possibly. Actually, you're going to have some things in January that are going to be happening for you rapidly. One thing in, uh, after another in rapid succession. Travel could be in the mix of it because I hear you have to do this, you have to do that, and you have to go somewhere. Like, in uh, so doing this, doing that, going somewhere is in the mix. Some of you are traveling for vacation, or will be in January. Uh, and some of you, I feel like it's specifically to see something. Like, maybe you always wanted to see the pyramids in Egypt, or... You always wanted to travel to uh, Peru and see the Nazca lines on the plane, take a helicopter and plane and fly over and go to Peru. Or, you know, maybe you wanted to travel to the Easter Island and look at the Easter Island heads. I don't know, because it feels like something maybe unique, uh, could be spiritual, could be maybe you're going to visit some churches cathedrals in Europe. I don't know, but I feel like many of you Leos will be traveling, but there is some specific thing you're going to see. And if you do travel, I feel that some of you Leos are not just traveling by plane, but I get traveling by plane and boat. So you may fly somewhere and then take a boat somewhere else. Uh, that kind of energy is here. Maybe even train. You might be doing planes, trains, automobiles and boating all together. It's time for Leos to reassess the value of things that are going on in their lives. This could be stuff, but it could also be relationships and job situations or careers. Some of you have some unwanted hangers on, my guides are saying. So this could be like people clinging on to you like sponges or parasites that, or leeches. Uh, maybe that's too harsh. Maybe you don't view them quite that strongly, but my guides use the words hangers on. So this could be exes that are hanging around. You know, this could be, uh, friends that are kind of trying to use you for your fame, your fortune, your, your knowledge, your expertise, your insights, um, it could also be friends that are kind of not the best influence for you anymore. Or like you've elevated or moved up to a different level spiritually, mentally, physically or something. And they're not at that level. And they may have some negativity attached to them. So they may have like a negative aura that kind of brings your sparkle and shine down a little bit. Now... I don't think I'm going to be saying something surprising because I feel like some of the Leos that heard that message are going to go, yep, I know who that is. And it could be multiple people also, Leo. Some of you have leasing agreements and contracts that are going to be signed in January and binding, binding contracts. So make sure you read the fine print. 
So your second card, this is a very good card, Leo. You have the sun. Yay. Woohoo. Joy and exuberance of childhood happiness. Uh, also can be the spotlight being on you. And look, it's the sun, Leo. It's your ruling star. Uh, so it could be spotlight on you in some way. It also can, sometimes the sun can indicate love or even the birth of a child coming in. It could be that, but it can also be success in the material world, spotlight being on you, happy and joy are like some of the main themes here. You're going to receive some kind of notification that you won something or that somebody in the family is giving you something. And I feel like it's pretty big. If uh, It could be an inheritance, but it could also be, I don't know, maybe you have somebody that's doing well off in their life and they're like, yeah, I don't need this house anymore. It's too big. I'm going to downsize. And they give you a house. I mean, it could be something pretty big or a large sum of money to help you out in some way. I don't know. But uh, I also get uh, winning or being awarded something. These are the things. Now you have to remember when I say multiple things, it's because there's multiple Leos watching this. <laughs> so like for me to pinpoint exactly, I say it in the order in which I heard it. So somebody giving you something pretty big that's got a lot of value to it, could be money or a property. And equally as equal, the feeling of winning something or gaining some kind of recognition, which may have money attached to it, is equal running together alongside of it. Some of you, you've got some whole new relationship that's blooming here. And um, for some of you, I feel like it's a love relationship, but it is a general reading, as I just said. So for some of you, it's some kind of a relationship, like it could be a great business partnership relationship. It could be somebody in your family having a child, and now you're becoming a great aunt or a great uncle or a grandparent and you're going to, or a parent, and you're going to have a relationship with this child that is born. Uh, you know, that kind of energy, like some kind of re new relationship, but this is really good. It's going to boost your energy. It's going to create a lot of light in your life. You're going to feel like out with the old, in with the new. That's going to be a big theme for you. I, I honestly feel like I'm seeing all these images. My guides are flashing in my head from when I was a kid. Uh, they used to, you know, my grandparents used to have things on papers, uh, like old uh, media things, advertisements. And when I was a kid on TV, it was always like father time ringing in, the, you know, <clears throat> father time and the baby and all that. That's what I'm seeing in my head. I feel like this New Year's is what I, my interpretation of my guides keep showing me these things are Leo's truly are a sign this year that are really ringing in the new year. This new year is bringing in new energy and a new life for you. And a lot of it has to do with a new relationship is a big part of it, but who this relationship to, it's not going to be romantic love for all of you, but there is a new relationship and energy is really changing for you guys and winning and getting a lot of money. I mean, your first two cards are really very good. So we have a tricky card here. It's not horrible. The other cards look good for you, but here you have a little tricky one. You have two of swords and two of swords is, can be a block, a stop or a stalemate. It could also be you being protective of yourself and blocking off some kind of unwanted energy, or you could be protecting your heart even. Um, but there could be things you just don't know about. There could be secrets or just unknown. And you have emotions tied up with this energy here. And this is crowning your reading for January. I feel like it, it's coming up like something you were waiting for or hoped was going to happen. It looks like, not that it stops forever, but I feel like there's going to be a delay. You're getting a delay here. Okay. Some of you, they're saying, have a month and a half from January where all your big stuff is really going to start to ring true. So, uh, and almost like your New Year's feels like it really starts to me on March 1st. <laughs> for some of you, but for some of you, it is in January. See, because you're not all on the same timeline. 
So for some of you, this card is symbolic of a delay of something big happening for you, but delay of only two months or a month and a half. Some of you, this is symbolizing you shutting down communications you have with someone. So there could be somebody that you used to talk to a lot. Maybe it's an old love, an old ex or a friend or a relative that you kind of like had a falling out with or you kind of were distancing yourself. I just feel for some of you, this is you shutting down communications. You may be like, yeah, I can't have him in my life anymore. And there was some of that that kind of came up out with the old and with the new with the uh, Eight of Rods card about hangers on. So this could have to do with that as well. Some of you, hot stuff, Leo. I got some of you have somebody that's going to be whispering like hot messages in your ear. And yet, I feel that you're going to have a lot of, I'm not saying you're not going to go there with them, but I pick up the energy of you having a lot of self-control and being very keen on listening to what they're saying. Not necessarily like, throwing yourself in free falling into whatever this is going on but you could be getting really wooed by somebody here uh but you seem to be in the listening mode and having a lot of self-control that card that's the energy around this card for some of you some of you even could meet somebody when you go away on your travels if you're a leo taking a travel a trip in between january and the end of March, or even even the end of April, uh, I feel like you're going to meet somebody that could be a romantic partner for you or a life-changing person for you, let's put it that way. But it really feels like romance. I, I also get the energy of like, you're kind of having to bide your time and wait because I feel like you're waiting something to come through. It could be like a... Um, somebody's credentials to be approved for something you need to know are they okay can they can they are they legitimate to buy my house or to sign a contract with like let me do a background check and get a pi on it to investigate their credentials but or investigate about them before i launch into a big business partnership or deal with them and so you're like waiting for the information to come through or it could be some other type of information, but this also comes up as you biding your time and I'm hearing the clock go tick, 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 tick. So I know you're waiting and the information is gonna to come to you, but there could be an element of waiting for clearance or somebody else's information to come through to you that comes up here also. So now your next card is probably you. Queen of Rods is fire sign female, Aries, Leo, or Sag, sun, moon, or rising sign. This could still be somebody else, Leo, uh, but it's likely you. Yeah, I, for some of you, you're getting involved with a fire sign person, and it, this is a love partner to you coming in or that you've already started maybe you've already met maybe some of you are already in a relationship with this queen of rods person don't be thrown that it's a queen just go with the energy of that it is a a male or a female fire sign person i also feel like uh it could be the same person but this could be somebody else giving you a lot of insight and information so some of you, it could be a private investigator you hired, like I said earlier in the Two of Swords. For some of you, this could be like a teacher, a mentor, but it feels more to me like an insider, a private investigator or an insider or some type of professional maybe that you're paying that is in the know. So... This queen of rods represents more than one person. For some of you, it's a love partner. For some of you, it's somebody giving you a lot of valuable information. You're kind of looking at them like they're your lucky charm or that they're going to nail something for you. A deal, uh, I don't know, like a deal, an arrangement, information, nail something you need. I don't know, but I get 
that energy for some of you, like almost like you think this queen of rods is going to be your guardian angel, savior of something that's important to you. But for some of you, it's you. But really, this card is reading more strongly that, that this is another fire sign, not you. Yeah. For some of you, again, it comes up as love. And this would be somebody that would want to see you again, talk to you again like that. <laughs> That's how they said it to me. So I'm doing what my guides did to me so you could hear it. Um, so some of you, this is somebody that has their eye on you. Now, maybe you're already coupled and you're like, whoa, I can't go there. But that doesn't mean that this person couldn't still do that. So just keep that in mind. Most of you are going to feel like this queen of rods is awesome. And like they're going to solve something for you or fix something or be a solution. So I don't really see you feeling like they're a negative force. So the next card you have is the last card of the five, four. January 2020, you have the world. And this is the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you more control in your life. You could be feeling like you have a lot of control. Now, I don't let the cards flip upside down. If I did, it, it would mean lack of control. But my guides are the ones that are going to tell me. So I don't need them to flip upside down. I just hear what they say. So it, this can also be a cycle of karma that's ending or some kind of cycle ending in your life and a new cycle beginning. It can also mean that as well. Some of you are going to be enthralling people with your words and music. If you're a musician or a singer or you have some other something else to do with music, I get or, or your words like you could be writing things that are enthralling or doing poetry readings or readings of some kind that people are hearing. Could be astrology, could be uh, psychic, could be metaphysical principles and ideas, could be religious things or spiritual subjects. But I get, uh, it doesn't even have to be in that genre. It could be completely like storytelling that is fascinating stories, like just funny or really cool stories to tell. It's like people are going to be enthralled by your work, your words, especially if you write or sing or, or perform in any way, especially in those areas. Yeah, you've somehow come across some kind of money that boosts everything. Maybe you're going to find it in some account that you're like, I didn't know this money was in here or something, a CD you forgot about that came, comes due or some account that a corporation or a job where you worked put money aside. You totally forgot that it was in that account and suddenly you get it or it's an inheritance or something. You've got some kind of money coming to you. But for some of you, it came up in this card like, Money you for, like you're kind of finding that you forgot about. But earlier in your reading in the Sun card, it comes up like winning money, being awarded something, uh, or you know something of great value being given to you. You may be really focused on training people, uh, and and I because I hear the words showing people how it's done. So you could be putting on webinars or. Um, having online courses that people could sign up for that you're going to show them how it's done. Um, it could also be um, like maybe you're going to get hired to work in a school or somewhere where you're training people or maybe you're going to open up your own studio. Maybe you're a musician and you're going to open up a music studio and teach people how to play the guitar or the piano or to sing. Or maybe you're going to have, maybe you know uh, Kung Fu or Karate and you're going to open up a studio to teach martial arts or uh, astrology or whatever it is you know how to do. I feel like teaching is going to be strong, a strong theme for you, at least in the month of January 2020. But I really feel like it's something that's like, starting to happen that's going to keep going for you in regards to showing people how it's done. Could even be for a company you work for 
if there's a department that is strictly for training and educating employees, whether they be new or already, you know, maybe there's new upgrades of things people need to learn, you may be given the position of, okay, you're going to be the corporate instructor of this, that, and the other. It could be something like that, and that could become part of your job duties and responsibilities. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe if you would like to get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. I also want to say here, I've got a notification from YouTube that they're deleting dormant or inactive uh, subscribers from my channel. And uh, I'm assuming I know one other YouTuber that puts on videos and he got this notification as well. So may maybe other YouTubers are getting this notification. So if you're suddenly thinking like, why am I not getting notified that th this person uploaded their video, me or other people? Check and see if you're still subscribed and resubscribed if you're not, because then you're not going to get notified and uh, you may have gotten your subscriptions maybe are getting deleted, just so you know that. So as always, I always talk about the special videos I record every month and post the links below this video for you to get from my Vimeo On Demand channel for download and purchase. And I have four video series listed below. The first one, as always, every month I always do, the Psychic Crystal Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. This will be for January 2020, where my spirit guides are going to continue on after this. After I stop this reading, I pick up the crystal and hear what my guides have to say for your sign. Uh, so if you're interested in getting those videos, that link is below this video. I have two sister videos that kind of go, they don't really go together, but I did them in the exact same way. And they're both about the eclipses. The first eclipse was on December 26, 2019. It's the uh, psychic tarot reading for that eclipse, solar eclipse in, in Capricorn, uh, where I pulled four tarot cards from the Morgan Greer tarot deck and looked into my crystal. And then the other video series was for the January upcoming full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer on January 10th, 2020, psychic tarot and crystal reading, where I pulled four cards using this deck, the Hansen Roberts tarot deck, and then looked into my crystal. And these predictions are going to last up to six months because eclipses bring in beginnings, endings, and changes, especially for six month time period. So if you're interested in getting either of those, those links are also below this video in the description box in the show more section. And then the last video series is Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Leo. It's that time of year again where I talk about my 10 card psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase for the entire year of 2020. That's a lot of predictions of messages to get through. And when I recorded the video before, like things, little things get edited out, I think I put the timer on for like 40 something minutes. So it's a lengthy video and you're going to get a lot of information from those. So if you're interested in getting those videos, that link is below this video. And please be sure to watch your rising sign because more and more I'm starting to understand the importance of that. I always knew about it. Well, I knew about it for about... I knew about the rising sign probably since my early 20s. I'm 57 now, so that's a long time. Uh, but in the last couple of years, I've really come to see just how much of our lives are happening through our ascendant or rising sign. It's called the same thing. So you might want to check that out because those predictions are going to apply to you as well for e monthly and for 2020. So I hope you'll decide to check them out. And all of these videos are always available. The links are on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu. All the video series are listed there with what cards I used, if I used the crystal or not, how long the predictions went out for, um, and how many cards I pulled. So you can get all the information and make an educated decision before you click on the sign you want 
and it will take you to that link directly on Vimeo. And if you would like to receive more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my socials at The Lucky Mermaid LLC, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC, both on Facebook, my Instagram account, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell, and also at Pam Georgell on Twitter. There I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, sacred geometry oracle cards, angels, gods, and goddesses cards, ancestor, angels and ancestors cards, uh, bringers of the light oracle cards, animal totem spirit guide cards, and I look into my crystal and there's other cards I use as well. So the chrysalis tarot. So uh, they always give predictions and messages and they're not just for the day I post the video. Sometimes they're for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So you might find they resonate with you, so please check them out as well. So I hope you have an absolutely awesome January of 2020, Leo. And now that I wish you many blessings and peace. <laughs>